Now, nine years before the Congress Party came into being in 1885, the idea of Indian nationalism was voiced by Surendranath Banerjee of Kolkata. Now, Banerjee even became Congress president twice, but today he's barely remembered. On Kolkata's busy Bobazar Street, the Indian Association founded in 1876. Today, its ground floor is rented to furniture shops, its top floor to a primary school. In between, a chapter of Indian history lies buried, almost out of sight and mind. In this hall, great minds like Surendranath Banerjee sat and called for democracy in India, a call he echoed as Congress president in 1898 and 1904. Those struggling to keep his legacy alive today feel Banerjee deserved more recognition than he got. From the Congress, there's difficulty. He dissociated the Congress. There's a lot of division of ideas. So Congress will not give him recognition. But government, uh, I don't think they have given the recognition he deserved. Today, the Indian Association keeps its body and soul together by letting out this historic hall for debates, seminars, and even college socials. Every 15th August, the state unit of the Congress promises to bring the association's plight to the notice of the high command. From the Congress side, uh, I will take a really sincere initiative to approach our sin, uh, uh, Supreme Leader, Madam Sonia Gandhiji, by which she can take initiative uh, to take appropriate measures uh, to protect these historical institutions. Surindranath Banerjee fell out with the Congress and left the party in 1917. But surely that episode could now be buried to give him his due. After all, he was not called Surrender Not Banerjee by the British for nothing. In Kolkata, with Biswajit Das, Monideepa Banerjee, NDTV. Tubar.com. 